in 2016, we were planning our wedding and we were gonna get married in October of 2016 and actually it was going to be that summer later on in the year and I was at work one afternoon and I was getting off on a Thursday morning and she called I called on my way home and I said I'm on my way home I'll be home in about two and a half hours and she says to me what do you think about wait until you hear the end of this what do you wait until you hear the end of this what do you think about just going to get married today and going to McCoonies for lunch We'll just go to the courthouse and do it. And I said, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So it took me two and a half hours to get home. I went home and took a shower because I was stinky dirty. And we went to the courthouse in the city that we live in. And we said, I do's with just her and I and the witness from the court and walked out married. And when we did, we went to our favorite sushi restaurant for lunch and had sushi. And it was fantastic. Just her and I eloped at the last second. And here's why. Because we were planning a whole wedding, a whole wedding in South Lake Tahoe on the beach. We had everything planned out. We had a block of rooms at one of the casinos for all of the guests. And we had, it's kind of hot in here, sorry about that. And we had all of the rooms booked. And we had a whole, a whole block of rooms booked. We had the area set up, the restaurant that we had rented, a a, bank, a banquet room for the reception and we were starting to invite people and had everything going on and then my mother got in, involved and ruined it and so my wife my fiance at the time was like what do you think about that and I said yeah let's do it yep and it was probably the best decision we ever made looking back on it yes her family was is always been super supportive of both of us and me especially and my parents ruined it my mother she got too involved, and then my sister got involved, and then it's just a big old freaking nightmare. So we just went down to the courthouse and did it. So if you love somebody, and you're having problems with family, and you decide that it's, you know, what's the best for the two of us, not anybody else, go and do it. Just go and do it. Go down to the courthouse, get yourself a witness, have, it, have your documents that you need, sign a piece of paper, get married, say I do, give them a kiss, and go to your favorite restaurant for lunch. Because it was the greatest thing we ever did together. I'm telling you. It was freaking nothing spectacular. There were no dresses. There was no music. Well, maybe they played. No, they didn't even play any music, I don't believe. And then, yeah, had a beautiful lunch together and later on went to Tahoe by ourselves and celebrated by ourselves. That was even better. And in the next episode, brings us to 2017, is when tragedy struck. And she was there for me through thick and thin and made me the person I am today through it all and stick around because I'll tell you that story that leads to, into our first year of marriage that was absolutely fabulous and I wouldn't trade her for the world. Absolutely not. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you guys and like I always say, you're friends, not subscribers, friends. So if you enjoy this, please hit that button, comment that you watched it and go back and watch the other few. I'm trying to get this, this is day four of my journey and this is going to be a series of 10. And I truly appreciate you. I really do. Have a blessed evening.